Hey guys, Josh here again. Today I will be showing you how to do the reverse matchstick style band attachment method, which is one of my absolute favorite ways to attach flat bands to a slingshot. Really hope you enjoy. This video was sponsored by Simple Shot Shooting Sports, one of the top suppliers of all things slingshots. I would highly, highly recommend these pre-cut latex strips. I shoot them almost exclusively and they sell them for a great price and I've never had any complaints with them. If you want to check them out, make sure to go to www.simple-shot.com or by clicking the link in the description. So you need three things to do this. The first thing is a flat band set. Pretty simple. Second thing are your matchsticks. Now, matchsticks do work, um, but I don't think they're actually the best for this. Um, it really doesn't matter all that much. Really, all you need is something to keep the band from sliding through the slit in your fork and I'll talk about that more later but really this can be anything. I've used pieces of paracord, I've used actual matchsticks, I'm sure you could use something like a, uh, a stock of a q-tip or the stem of a q-tip um, but my absolute favorite thing to use are these little pieces of Chinese tubing and the only thing that these really need to be are they can't have any sharp corners or edges because the band's going to be going around them and they need to be able to be cut to the width of your band. Pretty simple, so those are your matchsticks. Now the third thing is the slingshot, and this slingshot has to be equipped with single slots, which are simply a single vertical slot and one on each fork. And the easiest way to do this is with a hacksaw or a bandsaw. I did all of mine by hand with a hacksaw, and then I used a piece of sandpaper to widen it and to round these edges. And that's important because you need these edges to be rounded. They can't be sharp um, because the band will be in there. So these have to be rounded and the inside needs to be fairly smooth. And this can be just as easily done in a board cut slingshot or a metal slingshot like this or a natural fork, uh, really anything. It's very simple. It doesn't take that much time. Um, and this slit ideally uh, is about the size of one um, thickness of your band. You can see it's a little bit bigger than that because we're actually going to be doubling it. Um, so yeah, really just the size of your hacksaw or bandsaw blade is good enough with a little bit of widening with sandpaper. So now I'm going to give you a quick demonstration and then I will break it down and show you guys how to do it. Simple as that. Super quick, super easy once you get the hang of it. It allows for very, very fast band change and it does hold the band very securely. And yeah, that's why it's one of my absolute favorite ways to attach flat bands. Now moving on to the tutorial, the first thing we need to do is find the face of the slingshot. So the part facing you as you're shooting it. So I hold the slingshot like this. So this is the side facing me and I'm gonna put that facing towards the left, as you can see, that way, and place it between my knees. Now this is called reverse matchstick because this would be normal matchstick, pulling the band this way. However, we're adding safety to it by wrapping the band around the fork and pulling this way. And in my opinion, this is a much safer and better method. That also means though that it's a little bit trickier to band because you're kind of banding it backwards. So I'm going to walk you through this as best as I can. So we want the band to end up this way and I'm going to call this fuzzy part the inside of the pouch and this shiny part the outside of the pouch, okay? So we want the bands to end up like this coming around the fork. So this is how we're going to do this is we're going to turn this around and then we're going to flip the pouch inside out like this and that's how we're gonna start. And this ensures that we end up the right way. 
So we're going to take the left, or the uh, yeah, the left side of our band here, and we're going to fold it coming towards us, just like that. However much you want hanging out. And now, here's the key. You're going to stretch this, pull it tight, and slide it into the slot. That allows it to fit in. And now you can see we have a little bit of a problem here. See how it got all wrinkled up? Well, that's actually not a problem. All you gotta do is stretch it again, stretch just this top portion, and slide it up a little bit, and pull this part down, and all we're doing is really stretching it back to its full width. And now you can see there are no wrinkles, and this is how you want it to look. Now the last part is grabbing our matchstick, sliding it into this hole we created here, if it's a little too tight, just pull it back a little bit, slide the matchstick in to that tube we created, and pull. And there's one side done. Now you're going to pull this around the other side, make sure there are no twists in the bands, and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to fold it coming, going away from us. And we're going to try to make these the same. Remember this is stretched a little bit, so we're not going to do it quite that long. About like that. And we're going to stretch this again. Slide it into the slot. And then again we get those wrinkles. So we're going to pull up. And set it like that. Then our matchstick goes in. And we pull tight. And you want about this much tail. You don't want much more than that. Because you don't want it to interfere with your line of sight. And now all you gotta do is check the length. Make sure they're the same on both sides. As you can see, they are. And now we're gonna wrap the bands around the fork. And there you are. Your completed banded slingshot in the reverse matchstick style attachment. Give it a little test pull. It's nice and solid in there. Not going anywhere. And that is how you do it. Now, one last thing I should mention. You can actually do this the other way as well. Just for demonstration purposes. You can do, you can do it where this extra flap is on the outside. And this can actually be useful in certain scenarios. So if we do it like this, it's actually banded the same way. However... This flap is now going to be underneath the band when we pull it around. This can give you a little bit more peace of mind um, because that sharp part is going to be on this flap that's not being stretched instead of the band itself. So that's another kind of variation to it, but uh, try it both ways and uh, see which one you like better. Well, there you have it guys. That is how you do the reverse matchstick style attachment method. This has quickly become one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite, attachment methods for flat bands, and I would highly, highly recommend you guys trying it for yourself. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you did, please leave me a like or a comment down below. And if you have liked what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing for new videos coming every other Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.